everyone and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So I am here to do a general collective reading. Um, this reading is for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Don't panic. Um, it just means that I didn't pick up on your energy today. Okay. Um, I'd also like to thank all of my supporters, um, all of my subscribers for your likes, subscribes, your comments, your shares, your donations. Everybody has been absolutely fabulous. Um, thank you so, so much. Um, keep it coming. <laughs> right? Um, and if you'd like to make a donation to my channel, there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box. And this channel is for adults only. Okay, let's get started. I'm trying to get situated in the, at this table here. All right. <laughs> this is weird, okay? Overall energy. You guys know I like to read the energy from the bottom of the decks, right? Eight of Pentacles. Now, um, the Eight of Pentacles is like learning something, right? Perfecting a skill, learning a new trade, really studying something, learning all of the facts about something. Um, but I also always see this card, always see this card as somebody up at night watching someone on a computer, okay? I don't know what it is, like the glare of the something. I always see someone watching someone. So the overall energy is you're being watched, person watching. <laughs> Hooray, you're being watched. Um, yep, Eight of Pentacles, that's your overall energy. Somebody wants to do the right thing or maybe um, committed to someone. I feel like they want to do the right thing for this Nine of Pentacles, the Empress here. Um, someone who hasn't been speaking, somebody who is independent, doesn't need anybody. Um, someone who can take care of her own stuff is every queen in the deck. Someone who doesn't waste her time um, and expects honesty and truth, that kind of thing. Somebody, I feel like, wants a reunitement with this person. This is coming together. Happy home, happy family, happy life, building a solid foundation. Kind of considered as one of the Twin Flame cards. Um, however, not the actual. The actual one is the Lover's card. But what we have here, you know, is the Soulmate Connection. Yeah, I feel like somebody is just really um, sort of a mess over it too, you know, because someone left the scene, took off, went to calmer waters. They said enough is enough. Yeah, I feel like this is a third party situation going on here. Someone may want to get back together or is thinking about it because this person is everything to them. Um, every queen in the deck can't find another one like them. Um, yeah, you could be dealing with the Taurus. There's Taurus, Aries energy out here already. But yeah, I feel like you're being watched. You're being watched. Um, this is a real true love. Oof. And here's the Empress again. It's a real true love. Um, brand new beginning somebody wants. They could even be very emotional about it. They know that this is a gift from the divine. Someone here knows this new beginning is a gift that either was or is being handed to them. And they're very emotional about it, I feel. You could be dealing with um, uh, a water sign. But the Empress, you know... Um, this is the same empress that was in here. Somebody just sees you as being their empress person watching. I don't know why I always see avocados here. What's the deal with avocados? Somebody like avocados out there. I don't know why. But yeah, the empress is highly connected to the divine and very intuitive. Yeah. Feel like there's a person out there who feels very beat up and battered and exhausted by this um, journey. Oop, this was like this. Sorry. Okay, and your first card out. Guess what? Once again, we've got somebody watching you, learning about you. Same card, Eight of Pentacles. 
watching you, <laughs> learning details about you, doing their due, their due diligence, their homework, right? They could very well be building their pentacles or some, someone could just be focused on their work or studies here, but I feel like they're watching you. I feel like this person wants a reunitement. Now this is the second time around. And that may even register with someone. They want to get back a second time around. Um, they may even possibly want a commitment with you or they could be watching you in a commitment. I feel like this could be somebody though who's already committed. I have to say that. Uh, the King of Pentacles here, they're usually the committed person with the Queen of Pentacles. You could also be dealing with an earth sign and I feel like somebody needs to speak or say something. Um, this is a person that could be a boss, a business owner, really super good with their finances, uh, maybe really focused on their finances. Um, they're very logical minded, grounded, but normally also the King of Pentacles is pretty committed to as well. All right, so, but this is over a true love, a new beginning in love. Someone wants a new beginning in love. Um, clarify this Eight of Pentacles for me, please. For the general, now this is for the general collective. Roles can be reversed in any reading, guys. I say a lot of his, hers, he's, she's, but it's just the way I speak. So it's never gender specific. Just kind of, you know, take what resonates and toss what doesn't, okay? All right. Clarify this Eight of Pentacles for me, please. And I'm not reading reversals. This one wants to come out. Yeah, I feel like they're watching you and they really, um, they really want to come in and communicate with you. I feel like this is sort of like the beginning stages of communication. They could even present you with a gift um, or even a, an offer of stability. The Knight of Pentacles, though, it's fairly immature energy and it's the slowest moving knight in the deck. So slow moving, moving, in fact, that you would think that he's not moving at all. And, um, but this is also a reliable person. They'll get there, okay? They will get there, and they may even have some staying power, okay? Um, but yeah, I feel like as this person watches, though, they just kind of hesitate. They're very hesitant. This is really slow moving. Like they're not, they're not really doing anything. There's, you know, but they're watching you as they watch you. They're, it just is kind of killing them a little bit. Thinking about the third party situation that they may have put you guys in. Um, having to pick up a sword and cut something out, but needing to meditate on what to cut out and really saying a prayer that things possibly go well with you because I really do feel like they want to reunite. And they're very, very, very burdened by this. Like this person can't carry any more burdens. They can't carry this any longer. They're gonna start dropping some. And hopefully they drop two and communicate because then we would have the Eight of Wands. But I feel like they're gonna drop something they're seeing that, you know, you've reached a completion with this. That's how I feel. I feel you, person watching, have reached a completion with this. Having, you know, glowed up and grown up and, um, you know, you've accelerated. You've um, excelled in this. How do I say it? <laughs> you rose up. You passed through a portal, okay? And... Um, You've gained knowledge. You've learned the lessons that you had to learn from this situation. Uh, you're growing something new. You're, you're like turning into a whole new you, okay? And you've grown that all on your own. This is a graduation card, not just a completion card. This comes with like great effort and struggle and lessons but it also has awesome blessings. 
And I think that's what they're seeing, and that's why they they feel so burdened. I feel I feel because you're awesome. I feel like they're they're burdened because you're awesome, because that's what they're seeing. Because they want they want to reunite with, with you now is what I'm seeing. Yeah, and this is the justice, or they may want to create some kind of justice in this. This could also be the sword used to cut something out and communicate a truth. I really feel like this person is committed. I feel like they are. I feel like this, per this, this person needs to have their Queen of Pentacles next to them. You know? Not that there's, I don't see anything wrong with this Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles, she can be very loving, very nurturing. She's very logical minded and she really pays attention to her household and running her home and making bank. You know what I mean? But yeah, I see this person as being committed. You know, the one that that is watching you. Yeah. All right, clarified justice. You could be dealing with the Libra, or you could be Libra. Clarified justice. Clarified justice. Perhaps they want to cut out this Queen of Pentacles with this justice re holding up that sword. That's the sword of... Truth, communication, cutting something out, doing the right thing. Clarify justice, please, and no reversals. Thank you. Yeah, I think somebody wants to bring balance to this. Is bringing balance to a situation. This is bringing balance to a situation. You, you um, this is Sagittarian energy. So we have Libra and Sagittarius here in my hands. Um, yeah, I feel like this person knows that the something's coming in the in the horizon. Um, and they have one foot in the emotion and one foot grounded. They're tempering their emotions, you know, balancing them out. Um, normally it's from passion and, you know, fire and water. This one is just two cups. That's the two of cups. I feel like there's a lot of divine intervention with this soulmate connection. I feel like the divine now has a hold of this situation and they're balancing this out and intertwining the two, um, the energy from both cups. Do you see that? That's the Two of Cups. That's a soulmate connection. And I feel like now the Divine is bringing them both together. Huh. I usually don't read this card this way. Because the Divine here is in the background. There's just a, there's a very long road to get there. You know? And you gotta make it through these last two mountains to get to that crown. And it, I just see them taking two of cups here. That's a soulmate connection. Where is it? Didn't I have that before? Or was it in your shuffle? Anyway, there's a soulmate connection here. And they're blending them both together. The divine is taking control of this situation to bring justice. All right. Clarify the four of wands then here. Clarify the four of wands. Yeah, I feel like somebody wants to give back to the situation now here. We have the scales again. Things are starting to get balanced out. Even with money, someone's finances could be going up as well. Maybe those um, those who, her, who were on top are now going to be on the bottom. Those who were on the bottom are now going to be on the top. And they, those who were on the top before may now be coming to you to ask you for help. You know what I'm saying? 
I feel like there's a raise in pentacles here. Clarify this. Clarify both of these. I wonder if someone got married for money. No, I see this. No. Okay. All right. No, they didn't. All right. So they want a reunitement with you. They want to put the work back in. Um, yeah, scratch the married for money part. That's not what I see here. Possibly in these cards, but I haven't done anything with them yet. So, But in these, I see someone wants to get back together. This is coming together, celebrating good times, happy, happy everything, whatever. Building solid foundations, that kind of thing. And this I see as wanting to give back. Wanting to give to this situation, wanting to put the work into this situation. But this person may be a little lost in how to put in the work because they're trying to drive a stake through a wooden door with a light bulb, with a giant light bulb. And it's, I think this person, you know, other people may notice that this, but they're willing to step up. Other pers people may notice that this person isn't really following what they normally do, but they step up here. Your person really wants to step up and give back and put some work in. But they're attached to double energy. Now here we are. Now we start with this. This person is attached to, the, to something toxic something that no longer serves them or it could be addictions any kind of addiction you could have any kind of addiction okay um but it's getting in the way like there it's it's blocking their blessings and i feel like this person has a light lit it's it's light, it's lighting their butt up you know it's burning them. It's burning their butt every moment that they're chained here. This could be sexual. I always feel a lot of sexual stuff coming off of this one. I don't know. Maybe it could be the naked people involved. I don't know. But yeah, I think this is bringing about a very painful ending. Um, someone's having a painful ending here because they have a lot of love for you. And they may want a new beginning. And they may even want to offer a new beginning. But they're not going to show it. They're not showing it. They're not doing anything about it. And it's, it's bringing them a lot of pain. This person's in a lot of pain. Because they're bound and chained to a, a toxic commitment. Clarify this Ten of Swords for me, please. Yeah, this person's in a lot of regret. A lot of regret over that Two of Cups there. That Two of Cups. But it's the same Two of Cups that the Divine is trying to bring together. And blend together. Okay? All this person can think about right now is the love dumped out by a, th by a third party situation. That's this one, right? You and this committed person. Right? And the person they're committed to, that's three. You know, they turn their back on, on the real soulmate connection here. This two of cups. The one that the divine had pre-mixed. Right? And now they're, they're regretful. They're in remorse. This is suffering a loss, bereavement. You know, probably hiding it too, hiding it, much like the King of Cups won't show his love, right? Ha uh, all because of some kind of sexual addiction, perhaps. I got that in the last reading too, but this was a, a lover situation. This is a twin flame soulmate connection or just the like most powerful connection that you can feel with somebody, that would be this, okay? And this is something that's divine. Now we have it again, second one in a row. I've got both the devil, a toxic relationship, and a divine one. 
and this person turned their back on the wrong one and because of that they're in an extreme amount of pain and having to hide their love now they're having to hide their love uh, because they offered that cup of love to you once before and it was to be a brand new beginning in love and it was a real love there it is and here's one here's two that stand out out of all of these and that's that two of cups that was mixed by the divine it's a divine connection and this person now is very very nostalgic um, they can't stop thinking about you remembering old times thinking back to a time when that love was offered freely <coughs> um, thinking about how you nurtured them and loved them this person really needs to speak up <clears throat> thinking about just everything you were to them. You feel like home to this person. And like I just like I said, they need to speak up. This person is trying to find the strength to talk. Look how she's trying to like pry open the mouth of that lion. <coughs> yeah. You could be dealing with the Leo, but they're trapped in their mind about this. They're trapped in their mind about this. They can't, all of these swords just keep going round and around and around. You know, they think about this during the day. They think about this at night. They think about this at work. They think about this when they get up in the morning. They, you know, and they're trying to find the strength to speak because you really do mean a lot to this person. You know, and they plus they're trapped in their mind because they're just so tired of freaking juggling and they want some fast forward movement on this quickly. Um, this is cancer energy. Okay, this is wanting to move so quickly it can't be stopped. All right, because there's just been too much heartbreak here. They're just so sad. They're heartbroken. This person is heartbroken. And I really feel like they want to come together with you instead of being out in the cold because you are their empress. You're their empress person watching. So they're going to offer you, um, make you some kind of offer. This is like just wanting, this is the initial stages of um, communication. Okay, they want to start talking again. They may want to bring, start a friendship again. They may even bring you a gift, you know, a token of love and appreciation. Because like I said, they're just so nostalgic. They can't seem to break away from your love and your connection, even though they're bound in that toxicity. They really want to bring about change, the Virgo energy, um, Gemini, Aries. Yeah, there's a lot of inner turmoil here. A lot of inner turmoil. You know, the other person that they're with could also be a very strong soulmate connection as well. We have two connections out here. We've got a soulmate connection and then we have a divine soulmate connection that the, your person clearly can't stop thinking about. You know? All of that selfishness, all of that sneakiness, all of that planning and stealing and thieving or however it was that they violated you, thinking they could probably come back around and leaving the door open behind them, now they know they miss this opportunity of greatness. They know they miss this opportunity from the divine. This was a gift from the divine. And, you know, they're all sitting here being all butt hurt and everything, all baby head. Just concentrating on this Three of Cups, but still, they know that the Divine is still trying to, you know, hand this to them, like sticking it in their face. Saying, look at this one, this one, this one, look this, 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 this. And they're like, no, I don't wanna. <laughs> this person is still a little bit in their ego, too, as well. Perhaps they don't want to come forward because they feel a little bit ashamed or foolish. Foolish. Aries energy. 
but I really do think that this person wants to have a brand new beginning and take a leap of faith with a possible cancer. A cancer, but there's still um, a choice that needs to be made or something that's hidden perhaps in the background. But yeah, I really feel like this person wants to offer you a cup of love. Well, emotion. We're not quite sure yet if that's real love in that cup. It could be a nice shiny little turd. We don't know for sure. And the knights, not many of them have staying power. Okay. So they may come in and love bomb you. Because this person does feel foolish and they do definitely want a new beginning. But see, when they come in, you're going to be in... Um, in the Queen of Swords energy because uh, you've been messed with too much. Your head's just been effed with way too much. Your heart's been broken. You've been trampled on. You've been used, abused, whatever. Um, whatever it is for you. And you just don't want to be treated like crap anymore. So you say, okay, you can come in and talk to me. Sure, come and let me see what kind of shiny turd you have in that cup. And, um, you know, if, if, even if this is love, you're still going to question this person. And you're going to be like, um, I need the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Or I'm going to cut you out of my world without batting an eyelash. This person made you wait for far too long on this communication and making things right. And now you have the opportunity. Okay, sorry. Now you have the opportunity to pick up just one of these pentacles then and have a start a whole new beginning for yourself. Queen of Swords or person in the Queen of Swords energy. Yeah. So somebody's going back then and thinking about going within and thinking about how badly they screwed with this Queen of Swords or this person watching in Queen of Swords energy. You know, you could be dealing with a Virgo. But this is somebody who stays gone for a very long time to think about either how they want to mess with somebody and, and completely bring them down and stab them in the back and let them bleed out and leave them for dead and laugh about it later. That's this kind of energy, right? They want to think about that. Either think about how they acted towards you in the past or in the future. Think about a plan, maybe. And I, I feel like it's in like how they acted in the past. That was a lot of cards, but I hope you guys followed. Not that I can even go back through that one now. That's not happening. But let's forge on. What else can you show me? Deck number two. Let's empty that one out. <laughs> What else can you show me, Divine? The messages are just coming. This person, I just saw the staying up at night, the can't sleep at night card. Um, so yeah, this person is having sleepless nights, thinking about this all the time. Like I said, they're trapped. They go, it goes through their head nonstop over and over and over and over and over again, even at nighttime. They want to have a victory, or this is somebody who could be very, um, concerned about how other people see them too but i feel like they want to be victorious in this somebody is has vict uh, victory here or could be in the public eye even i think somebody wants to feel like um in like like they're held in high regard maybe that's a lot of cards we were going through them one at a time before that was working better <laughs> Sorry, spirit guides. This is just too many. <laughs> but what do we have? Yeah, judgment. They know they're under judgment. This is this. Judgment, the hermit, and the five of swords. They know what they're under judgment for. And they have to be. They have to confront this because the wheel's turning. Now it's the end of the cycle. The, the, the time's up. ta 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 ta, -ta. Time is up. <laughs> okay, the fart whistle went off. Time's up. The wheels turn. The universe is 
starting a new cycle. It's time now to take a look at your past behavior or the whoever needs to look at it. Not you. I don't think it's you person watching. I think it's your person, but whoever it is. Um, yeah, take a look at this past behavior. Take a look at the juggling. Take a look at what it did to you. Take a look at why you have this kind of five. Take a look at this again. Because you need to review it for each person you stabbed in the back, heart, chest, and left for dead and abandoned. And you're going to have to apologize for that as well. And you're going to have to decide what it is that you want and cut something out in order to get to your happiness. That's what the Divine said. Repeat it. Just hit rewind if you want to hear it again. So they're, they're made to look at all of those things, right? And now this person is deciding just as you walk away... Just as you walk away, they're deciding to start on that journey then and start moving. Now they're moving with that Knight of Pentacles. See, before they weren't moving at all. Now they're starting to move. Yeah, now they're starting to move because through it all, here over here sits right on top. The Divine is overseeing all of this, right? Yeah. And pretty soon, they will, too, have their graduation. Oh, hold on a second. The cat speaks. Hold on. I know. Here you go. There you go, buddy. Okay? All right. Go and be happy and don't meow. Don't meow. Don't meow, Tate. That's Potato. He's bossy. Large and in charge, right? Anyway, yeah, this person is going to have their graduation. They're going to have to learn their lessons from this last cycle. That's what this card is. It's not just a completion card to me. It's a graduation. And a graduation comes with what? Learning lessons. Doing the work. Putting in the effort. Okay? So now it's your person's turn. I feel like person watching you did that before. Remember this this world card's in here somewhere. There it is. You've done it before. You were the one glowing and rising. You're a bit above your person. You're a bit ahead. Not above. What am I? You're not above your person. You're not above anyone, really. You know, we're all just learning here, okay? I didn't mean to say it like that. You're ahead of the game. You're ahead on this journey. Okay, but now they have their lessons to learn. That's why they're under judgment right now. They're having to review all these things. You know, they're having to make that choice and stop being stagnant and pick up a sword and cut out what's blocking their path. You know, they have to move in swiftly and not give up and, and keep going and not be stopped. Like, you know, this is cancer energy like this chariot okay they've got to balance their emotions they've got to have faith you know yeah I feel like they want to come together this is parties get together celebrations you know they could be overindulging at this point but I feel like they should be celebrating a brand new beginning in love right they should be celebrating and getting together with a brand new beginning in love because it's coming it's here I feel like this person is shedding a lot of tears Pisces energy Cancer Scorpio I feel like their moods could go up and down with the moon phases as well and like I said before, this person isn't sleeping at night either. I feel like they're crying at night when the moon is out. When the moon is out. Because they can't sleep. They're completely... Oh, this is oh, this is the Eight of Swords. Why do I see it as... Okay, never mind. Yeah, I don't think they can sleep either. I see this person as being in a nightgown. Sorry. They're trapped in their mind about this. Doesn't matter anyway, day or night. They can't stop thinking about you. I want to balance the situation, but like I said, or they could be giving to other people in a toxic situation. Either way, this person is attached to the devil somehow. 
either through a commitment that's toxic or an addiction. That's how I'm feeling. Okay, um, yeah, okay, let's put the ducks away. I'm going to grab the flash deck and just shuffle and try to figure out your um, possible outcome, okay? Ah, happiness, possible outcome. The sun is going to shine again. Potato, what's the problem, bud? What's the problem? You okay? You all right? You okay with this now? Okay. All right, okay, sorry, my cat. So anyway, yeah, um, sunshine. The light may be shed on some things. This is my happiness card, though. I think happiness is going to eventually come through here. Oh, happiness will prevail. Uh, sorry, I watch a lot of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, so. All right. Justice will prevail. That's what I'm hearing now. <laughs> Only because I thought of that, though. Yeah, I feel like somebody's very emotional right now. This is being in a lot of emotion, but covering it up. I feel like someone's covering it up. I feel like happiness is a goal for some, but a destination for others. Of course, there's a choice to be made. Remember, some are going to choose the devil. Some are going to choose divine. So, um, yeah, and here's the divine right here. This is heaven. My daughter told me the meaning of this card because she said corn is like a, is like a little piece of heaven. So this is heaven. This is the divine, okay? Um, and the divine says there's things that need to be cleaned out. People need to clean stuff out. They need to clean it out. All right. What else can you tell me here for the general collective? For any sign, anybody who needs to hear something, what can you show us? Possible outcome or advice. Aha, new portal. Okay, so there is a portal. There's been a portal for a while, right? Um, somebody needs to Somebody needs to go down the end of this portal in order in order to get the ultimate. This is my ultimate soulmate card. I know I know there's a lot of you who watch me regularly. You know this is my ultimate soulmate relationship card. This is people both being strong independently, but yet they come together because they choose each other. This is people having each other's backs because they choose to, they want to. You know, um, having their own dreams yet able to compromise and come together and build something beautiful. This is trust. This is commitment. This is having a connection. This is a beautiful soulmate connection. But in order to get to that, somebody needs to go down the right path. Someone needs to go down the bright path. And someone is afraid to do that. Someone's afraid to do that. Um, okay, just give me a couple more cards of possible outcome or advice. Possible outcome or advice. What's the matter, Tay? What's the matter? Are you bored, baby? My cat is not happy with me right now. <sighs> like, at all. Yeah, I feel like this is a person who is stuck in a place where they don't want to be. Who wants to go to the school office? Nobody. It doesn't matter if you're a student or, or a parent. You don't want to go to the school office. Right? It's like a moment of dread. And they're living with somebody who, one, is very fake, and two, could have some mental issues. Okay? The light is being shed on this person. They're seeing things about this person now that they may have been, had illusions about before. This is a person, okay, number one, nobody who's no real person is going to bring baguettes to a picnic with children. You don't. 
Wonder Bread I can see, but not baguettes. Also, it's awfully strange how this person's sweater perfectly matches the background, is it not? And I know that three seconds before this picture was taken, this woman was screaming at this child. And when the photographer that they hired for their Facebook photo to um, take this picture said, say cheese, she stopped screaming at this kid and they snapped the perfect picture and she put it on Facebook immediately because it's all about show. I think this was, they're with a person who has some mental issues and the light is being shined on these issues. And now this person may be afraid. They know they need to do something. They know, they know they need to choose the brighter path in order to have this perfect love. They're clean, they're clean, clean, it's retrograde, okay? Um, they're seeing things clearly now. They're starting to see. Okay, one more card and then we'll go. All right, one more card, one more card, and then we'll go. One more card to buy. Um, advice, how about advice? Okay, a couple more cards, three more cards. This person, I think needs to move. I think the divine, this is my move away card. <laughs> this person needs to move. You know, it, it, I can see this a couple different ways. They need to move from a, from a place that's just boring, right? And just time is just ticking away in the school classroom. It just ticks away. That's it. Right? There's nothing for you in there. You know, I didn't learn anything in school really besides how to tell time because I was watching the clock so much and watching time just tick away. Um, but yeah, um, and this person's getting stung by that. This, this is going to hurt this person. They're going to get stung where they are. Or I can see this as, um, what was it? Bring it back here for me. I can see this as somebody moved them to the back of the room. So this person could have been moved someplace that's a bit more isolated. Maybe they were causing too much of a ruckus in the classroom and they were moved someplace more isolated right and now they're getting they're feeling that burn they're feeling the burn now now they're just getting stung and poked i don't know i can see that somebody here is pretty happy about it but that's because they're toxic they want to keep this person following them like a follower like a little lamb this happy person i feel like is this fake person that's you know, with the baguettes. I can't find her now, but it doesn't matter. And and I feel like this person could be getting uh, or suffering from some kind of abuse from this person now because they've isolated them. This person could have isolated somebody. That's toxic. That's toxic. And it has your person following them now and they just keep getting stung by this person. Like, this is my abuse card. It can stand for mental, emotional, physical abuse. It could stand for any kind of abuse, verbal abuse. Yeah. And your person may feel protective, protective of something that they built perhaps, but this could just be protective too, but feeling small, you know? Like, I'd be afraid of this small person. Hmm. Yeah, all right, well, that's what I got for now. Um, that's what I got for now, everyone. I hope this resonated. I, it's going to take me an hour to sift through this pile. <laughs> Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button and subscribe to my channel, okay? Um, and until next time, everyone, good luck and peace out.